Hi, this is Preeti from Analytics India Magazine. Welcome back to another episode from our segment, Data Science as a Career. So far, we've discussed everything from what is data science, who can be a data scientist, how to be a data scientist, also the skill sets, portfolio, etc. Now it's time to move on to the next phase of resumes, interviews, and jobs. I would consider this as my area of expertise, having worked as an HR recruiter. So let's go ahead and find out how to make a good resume for data science. Coming to the fourth step, a resume objective. A resume objective is your opportunity to let employers know that your skills and talents align with the requirements of their open positions. A tip here, keep it brief and to the point, preferably not more than three sentences. Let's take an example of a resume objective. Data scientist with five plus years of experience executing data-driven solutions to increase efficiency, accuracy and utility of internal data processing. This is an example of a good resume objective. It mentions years of experience, does not seem plagiarized or copy-pasted. It is based on real work experience and it is brief and to the point. The only thing that seems to be missing is your expectations from the job. For example, I wish to enhance my XYZ skill while working with your excellent ABC division. Before filling out the XYZ and ABC, you need to do a thorough research about the company and the job role that you are applying for. Customizing these details can win you over others. It does not mean rewriting and redesigning the resume every time you apply for the job, but making it recruiter friendly. Moving on to the next step, your experience. This step is the most important step in writing a resume. The work experience section is where you get to really sell yourself. So you have to make sure you iron out all the details. In order to write this section, you need SBI, situation, benefit and impact. Coming to the situation, this is the structure of the project. Example, I worked in XYZ team as a Java developer and worked on performance fixes on a web service ABC that returns customer details. Coming to benefits, which talks about your contributions. For example, based on my work, we could increase the throughput of the service, made it more reliable and reduce latency. Then comes the impact. How did your contribution affect the project? For example, over a few releases, my team member and I could increase queries per second by 30%, reduce outages to less than once a month, and latency came down to 40 milliseconds from 180 milliseconds earlier. Working as a recruiter, I was asked to screen resume based on SBI. Let's go ahead and look at how not to write a work experience. Example, I worked in XYZ team as a Java developer worked with client for requirements gathering and coordinated with team locally for clarifications, followed agile methodology and developed product, used Java and Spring, have experience with MySQL. To keep it simple, when a recruiter looks at a resume, they focus on the achievements and not the job roles or the tasks. The benefits of the work should be very clear and specific. If the job was done in a very average or a mediocre way, then the benefits would not be visible in your resume. If benefits and achievements can be quantified via numbers, that's even better. While writing benefits or impact, it is very important to use business terms or technical in terms of metrics of traffic such as throughput, latency, quality, reliability, performance or system details, cost incurred, etc. Coming to the next step, skills. This is a very important section of the resume as the skills act as keywords for recruiters while skimming through. While looking at the skills, a recruiter judges whether you are eligible for the job role or not. Mention all the tools that you have worked on. To make maximum impact, it is advisable to have studied and learned the most required tools and technologies that data science job roles demand. Not just listing the tools, but briefing about how you made use of those skills in your past job should be remembered. Do not forget to add soft skills. Since data science job roles include engaging in communication with other teams in an organization, therefore, some of the soft skills that you can include in the resume are critical thinking, problem solving, open to learning new skills, storytelling, communication, etc. Coming to the next step, your educational background. Adding a column about education is a good idea while preparing a resume for data science roles. It will be an indicator of all the hard work you have put behind the scenes to reach where you are today. 
some of the information that you can add are your university your major gpa final marks awards you have received or societies you are part of it is especially important for entry level data scientists moving on links since this is a data science resume it is very important to add links to your achievements or your portfolios on github kaggle or competitions like hackathons coming to the last step formatting and cross checking the resume poorly written or formatted resumes with obvious spellings capitalization and grammatical errors all over the place is a screening reject hence it becomes very important to cross check the resume once the resume is complete it should be run through spelling check websites such as grammarly with that we come to the end of this video don't forget to subscribe to analytics india magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science as a career see you soon bye